Appalachian videos. All right, what's up, guys? Uh, here's the second part in my series uh, quest to 500, 600 wheel horsepower uh, Honda Accord. Uh, you know, I actually made a massive video. I had so much, um, I had so much footage that my, um, my new, whatever the hell it's called, uh, video maker, editor, video editor, it, it started screwing up, man. I literally had about 40 minutes worth of video and it just didn't work out. So I decided just to give you guys a quick overview, um, wrap up of what I did here. So I, I relocated the battery. Um, obviously it's no longer there. It went to the trunk. Um, at first I started with a, a four AWG gauge wire. Um, it was not strong enough. It just, it wouldn't carry enough juice um, from the battery to the starter. So, I mean, the starting was really slow. If it started at all, it was like, vroom, vroom, vroom. Anyways, you know how that sounds. Um, so I ended up going with a zero one AWG um, wire which is good it's perfect um, doesn't have any issues so it tied into the battery here you can see that tied into the battery there ran it back down followed the um, followed the fuel lines all the way back to the trunk and this battery here this is a great alternative to a stock battery this is a wicked let me get this out for you this is a Wicked Start. It's a Wicked Start RG20L-WS. It has a CCA of 500, which is actually right around what stock should be for these cars. I think the CCA on my old battery was like 480, 490. This battery actually starts the car better than my old one. And the good thing about this, it's 12 pounds lighter than the stock. So if you want a lighter, lightweight battery, look for this Wicked Start. <clears throat> look for the Wicked Start RG20L-WS. Um, it's actually made for a Goldwing motorcycle, those big ass cruiser motorcycles. It's made for the Goldwing. So that's that. I actually had a metal bracket. I had everything located over here. Um, and then I had it grounded in here and it just it, the ground wasn't good enough It wouldn't start the car. I had no power at all So I had to redo everything. I had to take everything out. I had a, the super nice um, Metal battery bracket right here. I mean everything looked fucking awesome and it would not power the car up So I even ground out. I even ground. I don't know if you can see that I even sanded that shit down making sure I had a, a good connection and it still wouldn't ground properly so I took it all out, moved it back over to here, grounded there. Um, this is a four AWG gauge wire. This is a zero one. So the zero one, you want to stick with the zero one. I learned that the hard way. Like I said, it, it would not crank over. So that's that. Um, I was going to look for a better way to um, secure this, but I mean, it's <laughs> the, uh, the nitrous bottle actually holds it in there really well. Um, there's no chance of it sparking i mean this thing doesn't move while it's in there so i'm actually just gonna fucking leave it like that um i really have no no qualms about it uh i'm not worried that it's gonna move or anything so that's that you guys and like i said i just followed the fuel fuel line all the way back through it'll be really easy to see if you guys didn't can't see it um and then to get into the trunk I went, it's right back here. You can see it right there. So right there, I drilled, I drilled down and then that will, that will shoot out past, um, just behind the, um, the exhaust or the can. There'll be a heat shield right in there. So that's what I did. Ran it all the way back through, back over to here and then up to the front. And now I have all this room for my turbo. And you can see here, this is where the piping's gonna be. Turbo's gonna sit here. I still gotta think about how everything's gonna go. But um, I cleaned this up. This was a little rusty from the battery. I guess it had some leakage over time. Um, I took the tray out, sanded everything down, resprayed it. I mean, it looks fucking brand new. It looks great. So that's that. And I also have the cams in. Um, that will be another video. I have a pretty detailed video of how to install the cams. Um, I had a really detailed video of how to um, how to relocate your battery but like i said um the new editing software that i have it just didn't like it 
um, and it was it was taking forever. There was just a bunch of issues. Um, so I apologize that I had to do this quick quick overview. Um, so just to review one more time, you guys. If you're gonna run it, run it with a zero to one AWG gauge wire. Do not do anything smaller than that. I went with a four and it would not work. It did not power the battery enough um, to kick it up. Uh, the next would be the battery. I went with that Wicked Start. It's for a Goldwing motorcycle. It's a 500 CCA cold cranking amps and it starts the car perfectly. Let me show you guys. starts the car perfectly There's zero issues with it see boom it's just fired right up and I don't know if you can hear it but here's the cam Like I said, um, stay tuned, man. I gotta go through all that, all that footage, and I gotta edit it all. So you will have a not a step by step, but a pretty good overview of how to install these cams on any J Series engine. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. Peace.